friends, Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm, and I'm in the area that I bring plants from the basement to here to acclimate to the weather. And so the dahlia did very well, <laughs> and these. But what happens is, after you bring them out of the basement, they have to harden off. That means they have to adjust to the temperature and the weather outside. So you don't want to overshock them by putting them exactly where they go, they'll die. So I just want to show you, we're going to really focus on dahlias today. So this is one of the best. There's some, they're not flowering, but they die back in the winter in the basement. It's 40, 50 degrees there. And then um, basically they know to wake up. So they immediately start waking up. In the basement on the window, I put my peppers and I eat peppers all year. They seem, uh, the hot ones anyway. So all I do, oh, I, have a, I have a snail already. And um, I have to clean this up, get rid of the snail. Yes, he was, yep. And I'm gonna show you how to take care of it and Plant. I'll see you over on the patio. Okay, in my containers, because I'm planning on spending more time out, and maybe some friends can come over now. Let's see how it goes. And um, I want stuff that will repel flies and everything else. And I'm also trying to make the point that some companion planting works. Now there's some crazy myths and all that, and but I'm going by what I know. So the reason I'm using the floss flower, besides it's gonna be stunning, it's got curcumin. And what that is, it's a chemical found in this plant that mosquitoes and flies hate. So basically, I wanna put that in. So when we're sitting out here, it will stay away from the suction. So um, it's a wonderful natural way of protecting you. Now, is it gonna get every mosquito? No. Those are crafty little things. But um, now, it looks cute right now. Give it time, I'm not gonna overcrowd it. And then, in a couple weeks, we're finally gonna do a tour since our foster dog, Rusty, and I should lease them out. <laughs> we don't have any groundhogs. And there was a raccoon and he was chasing it. And um, I, we don't let anything hurt anything. But um, I'm hoping they leave, but I heard the raccoons are worse. So, but he stays by the house. I just gotta watch what I plant. So this is what you do when you overwinter your flowers and stuff. Bring them out, very easy. And this is a dahlia that, and a spider plant, that Stefan did a video, what, two years ago? A year ago? And it's still going in this. All right, this is Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. We have to go back and plant some more flowers. And also we have one more part of the vegetable garden to plant. So we're gonna plant malabar and stuff like that. Have a great day, please subscribe.